Hi, uh, Jonas. Uh, Hello. Today uh, we are with the former world number four in tennis singles, but also the former world number one in doubles. He has not only won Roland Garros twice in doubles. You obviously recognize it. Welcome to Jonas Bachmann. Bachmann, uh, hi. <laughs> hi, Jonas. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Frank. Uh, yes, you are, you are very famous in tennis, but you, we, I think now uh, you are maybe most famous in, a, in, the, in the paddle because you are the, the, um, the captain of uh, the Swedish team. Uh, can That's you correct. tell us the story about this adventure? Uh, well, it's, uh, I just started. <laughs> I was going to say it's been uh, two weeks and uh, it, came, it came by surprise. I have to say that uh, I, I was asked and uh, uh, yeah, you... from, uh, uh, from five years ago, I, we started up uh, our paddle business PDL. And uh, so for the last five years, I've been very... Uh, involved in our company and we are expanding and you know i started to play some tournaments and uh, started to enjoy to play and uh, then uh, would say maybe four weeks ago i got uh, a call from the federation asking me if there was any chance uh, that i would consider uh, the the job and um, uh, i was very and very the honored of starts, that's of the beginning yeah, now I, <laughs> Yes, and, and I think the main reason was that, um, you know, they have asked all the players uh, from, you know, 1 to 20 uh, what they would like. And, uh, you know, my name was there. So uh, yeah, I think that was a big factor for me to uh, take the job. And uh, hopefully I can uh, help them a lot with uh, experience from my tennis, how to... Um, prepare how to play in front of a cr big crowd and you know I think paddle wise they know what to do uh, but I think everything around uh, I can probably help them a lot with my experience from tennis. You, you talk about your investment we take we will uh, talk about that a little bit later but before talking about yourself about your course in the paddle I would like to start with a simple comment the madness of paddle in Sweden. Do you have an explanation about that? Uh, now we're back, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, it's been, uh, I would say... Do you have an expl I mean, explication, we, explanation about I, that? I, I, it's well, I think, I, I, think, I think it's about the same explosion like uh, maybe South America had and then Spain had and i think the key to the success has been uh, that a lot of people travel they have seen this uh, the sport paddle in uh, in spain a lot of swedes go to spain for holiday uh, so i think people have seen it but when it came to stockholm and when we opened our center we managed to uh, i think have a good timing uh, to uh, expose and talk about the, the new sport and I think uh, a lot of people was very uh, curious to see what it was. Uh, and once they started and once they started to play, I think everyone has the same um, experience that it looks like mini tennis on with squash walls. But once you start, you feel that you get better by every, every time you play, you get better. Uh, and compared to other sports, sometimes it's... Um, it's very hard to, to, to teach and learn tennis. Uh, when you get up to, uh, to a certain level in tennis, then it is, you know, a phenomenal sport. But for the medium, the medium uh, amateur, it's not so easy to uh, learn the serve. But when it comes to paddle, everyone can pick up the racket and start playing. In tennis, you were a real double specialist. We, we imagine that uh, this should help you in the paddle, no? Right? Uh, yes, I think I have a lot of, uh, a lot of things from my doubles uh, and singles. 
I was such an offensive uh, singles player, so I wanted to come to the net all the time. So yeah. my, stre- my strength in singles uh, helped me a lot to be, become the doubles player I managed to be. And uh, so to play volleys, uh, to play half volleys uh, was no problem in the beginning. But uh, the biggest uh, task was obviously to uh, let the ball bounce into the, uh, the glass behind you. Uh, because in tennis, if you leave the ball, you lose the ball. Uh, and here you actually get a second chance. So the more you, you, more you use... Uh, the back fence or the back, the back glass, uh, you better you can play paddle. So in the beginning, I played paddle tennis, uh, but now I would say I play more paddle. Um, before you find yourself at the center of the professional Swedish paddle team, there is a beautiful story because like you, like you said before, um, uh, the adventure begins with your investment in paddle clubs. Now you have how many, you have one, two clubs you, and you want to create more clubs? No, no, no. Uh, we actually have uh, 35 uh, PDL centers open right now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we're gonna have a lot more opening this year. We, uh, we have one P- uh, PDL center uh, in uh, Zurich. Uh, Switzerland, and uh, we just uh, started uh, centers in uh, Norway, and okay. hopefully it will come more countries uh, later this year. Okay, so you are more than a captain. You are you invest uh, on this sport a lot. Uh, is yes. it the same around the tennis, or you invest ev- everything in the paddle? Uh, no, I, I haven't done any investments in, in tennis, uh, yeah. more that I, uh, I still love the sport. I, uh, I work as a commentator for Eurosport, so I, I follow the tennis uh, still, uh, coaching Miriam. Uh, so my, my passion is still as high as it has been uh, for tennis, but paddle... Uh, started because I wanted to, to play myself uh, and with my three uh, other founders, you know, they had the same mission. They wanted to start uh, paddle and play. And then it became a business because we saw a, a big opportunity. So um, after that, we have uh, uh, expanding and uh, having more and more centers in uh, each uh, city in uh, Sweden. Uh, I also find you as a player in the Swedish team because you are, okay, you are the, the, the captain, but um, I'm really sure you you are to a good player, like you said, like, because you have a few facilities around the sport. Uh, do you think maybe one day we could see you like a player in the Swedish team? Yeah. Uh. I don't think so, uh, because I I don't think it's fair to uh, to put uh, put myself in uh, yeah. because I am I'm too old. <laughs> uh, I my level is probably good enough. If I do, I mean, right now I don't do much training, but uh, before tournaments when I play, I train a lot, uh, so I try to pre- prepare. But if I would uh, if I would train every week and and do a commitment, uh, I think I would have a chance to to at least be be close to the team. Uh, and uh, but I, I think uh, in my position now, you know, it's all about uh, giving the the new generation of uh, paddle players coming up and be part of a Swedish national team. Okay, but maybe after I don't know if if is it, it could a, be <laughs> it could be is if it, is it a, a wish is it a wish to maybe to try a, an adventure uh, to like like a player in um, I don't know um, in, why not no like uh, like the Davis yeah, Cup yeah, <laughs> like yeah the, I mean it would be I love Davis Cup uh, 
for me uh, to represent you, you, you my country. You won Davis Cup three times, huh? Three times. Yes, yes. Yeah. Don't, don't bring up the, the match against France. That still hurts. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, yeah, I mean, for me to represent Sweden in Davis Cup was uh, my biggest dream. Uh, uh, and probably my proudest moment to, uh, to, back, to, to play for my country and uh, for my teammates. Uh, so in one way, it would be uh, something I would love to do uh, with a Swedish paddle team. But also, I think, uh, you know, I have too many uh, different things uh, that, I, I that I'm involved in. And, yeah. and I think it yeah. would, would not yeah. be fair to put myself in. I have a, another question about, uh, uh, you talk uh, about the Davis Cup, uh, like... Um, like I said, you, you won the, uh, three times uh, uh, the Davis Cup, and uh, it's a little bit strange. Uh, you should not have seen yourself perhaps first captain in the Davis Cup, right? Um, do, do, do you think you could, do you think, uh, is it a goal for you um, to be the captain too in the Davis Cup? Uh, not anymore. I think uh, after my career, I I saw it as a uh, what do you say? I, I definitely saw that in the future I would really love to if I would get the question. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I haven't been asked. So I was an assistant captain for um, uh, one or two years. Uh, my old coach Frederick Rosengren was a captain, and I was the assistant. Uh, and after that, uh, it hasn't really been uh, anyone who have asked me. So um, I think now I'm not as, I wouldn't say that I'm looking for it. I, uh, I, yeah. I was more happy now to do the paddle because I think it's a new sport, something different. Uh, and uh, I'm super busy with all the other things that I have. So I prefer to... Um, to be the coach for Miriam and see if I can uh, help her to uh, to get to her goals and her dreams and to do the other things I do as well. Um, what is um, the goal for you? Uh, the goal for you this year um, with the team um, during the European Paddle uh, Championship. Uh, and the world championship because uh, we have two cups uh, this year. Uh, do you have a goal? Did you did you speak with the players? Did you did you do something? Uh, um, in, for example, uh, uh, during the European Championship, you have a goal to be maybe a two, three. I don't know. I, I think when it comes to the European Championship, it all depends yeah. uh, if Spain's going to participate or not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if if they play, uh, then uh, I think our goal is to be somewhere between two uh, to four. Uh, I think last time, if I'm not wrong, I think Sweden uh, managed to be third in the last the European. So I think we should be somewhere there around. Uh, when it comes to World Championship, uh, it's a lot tougher, obviously. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I think our goal should definitely be top eight. Um, okay, I, I will finish by a, a last question, maybe uh, the more complicated question about in this interview. Um, it's a little bit uh, political, of course. You talk about the European Paddle Championship this year. And like you know, we have, well, probably, we will get two European Paddle Championships this year. And um, can you comment this episode uh, for you from, uh, uh, from a, a, a tennis player when you see that? What do you think about it? And above all, uh, what is the fate about the Swedish team? Uh, where, for who, where the Swedish paddle will go? Uh, well, first of all, I think it's uh, uh, not good for the sport uh, to have uh, two championships, European. I think 
for for the sport of paddle if you want to grow the sport uh, international and worldwide mm-hmm. i think uh, we need to have more uh, partnerships uh, between all federations who's going to be in charge and it's the same with uh, AP, apt and uh, world paddle tour um, you cannot have uh, one organization fighting the other one and uh, vice versa. I, I think everyone who are involved in paddle uh, needs to find a way how to work together to grow the sport. Uh, I think that's the main uh, point uh, for everyone. Uh, we cannot think short term. We have to think long term what's best for the sport. And you know, who's going to be the one to organize that? I'm not sure yet, but I definitely think it's uh, it's the situation now where uh, the sport need to move fast uh, to find partnerships instead of being uh, enemies. Uh, so that will be my answer. Uh, for me, as a tennis player, uh, I am obviously shocked since we have a completely different setup in tennis. Uh, I think uh, Sweden will not go for two Europeans. Uh, we will focus on one. And, uh, uh, which one? Which one? Because <laughs> it's it's important because we, yeah. um, we would like you to to know where this uh, uh, these very it's very, s- so it's will, very good. Yeah, where are you going? I, I'm, not, <laughs> I, I'm not sure which one we are going, uh, but the federation knows for sure. Uh, yeah. And that will be something that, since I'm so new into my position, uh, that will be something that they will tell me uh, what where we should go. But I think I'm I'm not sure which one we choose last time. But uh, you know, we will we I will know probably uh, next week when uh, I had had the time to speak yeah. to uh, the federation. Okay, okay, thank you uh, uh, very much, Jonas. Uh, for for this interview uh, i ask you no i told you uh, before it was the last question but maybe the more complicated <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 no but, but good reply good reply no you were perfect you were perfect <laughs> uh thank you very much for everything and uh, uh, no good problem. luck uh, for this new adventure around the paddle and uh, from france from a uh, uh, a fan of paddle and tennis of course so we are very very happy to to see you uh, in this adventure because I'm sure it will be um, it's it's very very good for for everyone and not not only for 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 your, your country but uh, for for us too for France and uh, for the paddle in general. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for your kind words. Uh, mm-hmm. I hope I can help out uh, to uh, find uh, good solutions how we can uh, manage to uh, put yeah, everyone yeah. together and work work together. Okay. Bye-bye, Yola. Thank you very much. Good luck. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye.